<laughs> Good evening, Happy New Year, and hello to one and all. Thank you very much for joining me on this Monday Night Live. I am no, I mean, I'm I'm usually pretty rubbish, but tonight I am beyond that. Literally, I've just changed out the the lens on the camera. I was thinking. I was going to make that kind of thumbnail for the Happy New Year thing. And that was something that I thought, oh, a half past. I'll do that. That seems like a good idea. And then that took forever. I've got some I've got some cheese footballs sitting here. And you don't want to hear me chomping away on those bad boys. So we'll move those around. And um, yeah, it's just I've got wires and things. If I move this, am I going to lose myself? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tense, tense. <laughs> I think we are good. So a couple of minutes late. That's the reason why it was just... It was just all going a little bit crazy. It was all going a little bit on the bonkers side. So hang on, let me just, let me just, have I got my, have I got, oh, I have, I have. Excellent, right, okay, so we've got the Dan camera as well. Things are happening. Things are stuck. The Dan camera is not in focus, not by any stretch of the imagination. But am I in focus? I think I'm in focus. Can you hear me okay? Am I loud enough? Is, is, you know, is it, is it good? Is it as good? We, I'm using the the ten to uh, eighteen on the uh, on the old camera, so I think that that looks like as that looks about right. That looks about right to me. Anyway, if this is your first time here, it's not always this disorganised, although often is the case. But what we're going to do is we're going to spend the first ten minutes just saying hello to those of you in chat. So let me know who you are, where you're from, and what you're vaping on. Always like to know that, and I'll try and give you a shout out. Not sure I'll be able to get through everybody, but we'll give it a damn good go, I think. And you know, God loves a try. So we're going to be uh, we're going to be cracking into that one. I've just had a Twinkie. It was nice. Um, but, and then after that, we'll go into, I've got some, I've got some juice things, not juice reviews, but I've got some juice things to worry about. We've got, we're going to talk about some sample box stuff. We're going to talk about the goat. Oh, we've got a bunch of stuff coming up, but let's say hello to people in chat. So, hooey, how are we going? Um, we have got, um, uh, Miguel, hello from North Carolina in USA. How's it going, Dean? Not bad. A little bit stressed, but not bad at all. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Andy Fairchild is in there. Ah, lovely old job. Uh, Viv, at Vaping Biker, did you manage to trick Mrs. Biker into trying that popcorn juice? No, I did not. But I'll, I'll, uh, I, I was, I was, I was too nice. I was too nice. I feel all, all of the kerfuffle at the minute. I'm not. I can't look. I'm just. I'm not. No, that's the wrong side. Uh, I'm off. I'm off balance myself. <laughs> um, right. What have we got going on here? Uh, Daz is on a drilling rig. Oh, I, I'm pleased I'm not having those times anymore. Good luck to you. And I hope the uh, weather is doing you well. Eddie Summerford is in from Eastbourne. Lovely old job. Um, what else have we got going on here? I just sort of jumped halfway through. Lots of people saying hi in chat. Um, no longer look like a flump, Dino. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Um, Hey Dean, Bassie and made my top squonkers. Fantastic, Chris. Thank you very much indeed. Trucking vapes. How's it going, Mother Truckers? Happy New Year. Absolutely. Good evening, vaping bike. Happy New Year to you and your family, says Colette. And a happy New Year to you as well. Eddie Sumford, vaping on the top side with the Pyro V2. Lovely old job. Um, welcome 2019 from Sydney, Australia. Vaping on the Vindicator with a BTFC. Lovely old job, crappy Salika. So you are in 2019 already. Quickly tell us what the lottery numbers are. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Steve Clark, hey, and Happy New Year from Steve and Helen and Stewie the Peach, my favourite family watching. And there's a very grim esque fist bump to you guys. Thank you very much indeed. Charles is vaping on a Cobra Strike from the, the Wirral, uh, is a Cobra and a Strike, and he's from the Wirral. Is there more room echo in here tonight than usual? It sounds like there is. Um, Viv is in Coventry, Skyfall, Ultim Top Cap on, RSQ, Elderflower and Apple Juice in a sweet spot here. Lovely old job. Um, Scott Bogfoot, Happy New Year, Dean, for the most easterly point of North America. Lovely old job. Nice to see that one. I've got to stop saying lovely old job. Um, Andy Fairchild is in uh, Bristol and on the Cobra and Skyfall. Oh, look at you lot with your Skyfalls. Ooh, very posh. Like that one. Um, hello from Nuhum. <laughs> How did the bill turn out? Bid oil turn out? Turn out well. Thank you very much, Mr. English. Um, Sir Nini Heya, I'm uh, from Nevada and I'm vaping on the Tesla Bunk 220. Lovely. I'll stop it. 
Stop it. Stop saying that. Uh, <laughs> good. Sounds a lovely setup. Uh, evening, Dean. Hope you had a splendid Christmas and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. It's Les' first time here, unlikely. Um, what up? Bassium Man and North Carolina says Chris Bowman. Lovely old job. JTH Reviews. Um, Dwa for the Dreamer. Absolutely amazing. Well worth it, in my honest opinion. Lovely old... <laughs> <laughs> Lovely job. Excellent. <laughs> Hello from Montreal and Happy New Year, Dean. Rocking the Dreamer with a rebirth, says Kirk's Venus. Uh, Alex McKinsey is saying hello to somebody else. Uh, <laughs> um, what have we got going on? David Chaston, evening, Dean from Margate, invoking on the Zelos with Nautilus 2 with a strawberry milkshake liquid inside. Fantastic. Uh, Lois Ashton, lovely to see you. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Whew. Evening, Mr. Dean. Have it large. Thank you very much, Rockabilly Performance. We've got uh, Trucking Vapes, Dean, the best UK movie. <laughs> I honestly, I don't get involved with any of the uh, of the uh, of the of the best of and the poll things because they're all shit. They don't make your life any better if you win or lose. So it makes no difference. Um, Happy New Year, Dean. Vaping my bastion with a pulse X on top. Lovely. Thanks very I nearly said it again. Oh, <laughs> good stuff, James. Uh, Daniel Thornton. Hi, Dean. All the best, mate. All the best. Nice to see you as well, Daniel. Hey, Dean, from Denmark here on the Bassin with the drop tonight. Thank you very much. What do you want? I will tell you in a moment. Uh, we've got uh, Pal702. Happy New Year to you as well. Legion Vapes is in the house. Nice to see you, Legion Vapes. Uh, Mike Vapes is in the house. Look out. Look out. Mr. Mike Vapes is in the house. Um, if I'd have known you were, uh, if you were, you were knocking about, Mike, I would have invited you on. Um, we've got Wolfheart in, Charles is in, you're discombobulated. I bloody am. I'm a little bit all over the place. I am a little bit all over the place. And sorry for the mess with the backdrop and things. Anyway, uh, what else have we got going on? Hi, Dean, my name's Alex, originally from my mother's womb, but now I reside in Surrey. Too graphic, too graphic there, um, Alex. <laughs> Are you drunk already? I think you might be. Not vaping tonight as I'm not well. Boo, so, uh, um, uh, Rockabilly. Sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. Well, we got Frank Squid. Happy New Year from Philadelphia. Vaping on the Pulse 80. What, hi, Dean, from uh, Happy New Year from Portsmouth, says Stephen James. We've got Ian Strudwick's in the house. Vaping Stokey. Stokey. Um, times Vima Dream Times ooh, Times Vape ooh, Times Vape Dreamer Mech and a good old goon. <laughs> uh, what else have we got going on here? <laughs> Hi, Dean, says Brad's Hi, Dean Berserker on iStick 100. Guinness and JD, all the best. Lovely, fantastic. Sounds like a, a good old cracker. I admit, I do miss a Guinness. I do miss a Guinness. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Happy New Year from Scotland when it comes. Thank you very much. Van Vapes, you too as well. Tony Laura, Happy New Year. We've also got uh, Rebuildable Ryan, Mage Steck Stacked with Rebirth, Topside with Recurve, Upstate New York. Lovely. Uh, using the the Puma by Vapor Storm with the Freemax Mesh Pro says Bob Atherton. Tall guy vapes. Hi Dean. Happy New Year. What did you vape over Christmas? Me, I vaped the Barrister White Chocolate Latte. Good stuff. I'll talk to you about that stuff in a little while. The, what else we got going on here? Tall guy vapes loves the Bassium. A USA New Jersey says makes a vapory. Uh, what else have we got? Greetings from SW Florida, Southwest Florida, or is SW a place? I don't know. But good evening to you, Mr. Robert Knoll. Thank you very much for joining me. What else have we got? Chris Salter. Evening, Dean. Guys, Happy New Year. Thank you very much indeed. I'm vaping too many things to type, but hello from Boston, says Rick Mahoney. Bassium and the Recurve, says Joe James. We've also got, uh, we've got Tall Guy Vapes, it's all Rock of the Rebirth, RDA and Drag. Uh, Alex McKenzie has got a black TI. Okay. <laughs> it's cream for that. <laughs> Deborah Connor is also on a Bassium with a recurve and a glass of Bucks Fizz. Fantastic. Very festive as well. Mr. Philip Vapes, Shogun on the Paranormal and on my Orion 2 this day. Glad to join in from California. Thanks very much for joining in, Mr. Philip Vapes. We've got Spencer Fernandez, Stab Stinger and C Mods Solo. I don't know what either of those are, but cool. I like it. I'm happy with that one. Uh, what else have we got going on? Chicago, Bassium Recurve, says Joe James. Um, 
Right, I'm going to fast forward a little bit going on there. I can see that we've got a few people who have done a fantastic job. Thank you so much. When we do get to the sort of questions and the interactive bit, please make sure you type things in uppercase in capital letters because my dodgy old eyes can see them. I realise why I had a little bit of a kerfuddle setting up my camera. It's because I'm not using my Sigma lens. So instead of 2.8, I'm probably rocking at about 4.8. 4.8 or 4.2 or something at the moment on the eyes. Ah, that's annoying. So that 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 sound panel there, that's coming away from the wall and bulging out. So that that's going to upset me. Right. Don't look at it. Don't look at it, gang. Don't don't. It's not to look at. Um, <laughs> uh, right. Have we got any more? Just to quickly look through the people that said rocking the rebirth of the drag. Yeah, so I said that one. Hey, Dean, looks like you might want to tickle that beard a little bit. Yes, I am. Uh, I, I, I haven't brushed the beard, I'm afraid. So we're going for the full on tramp look. Uh, Pal702 is on the spade. Venner with some crooks and coffee. Lovely old job. Kevin K. Hello, half open biker. I think we're good. I think we are good. We've done about 10 minutes now. Uh, 160 watching. Let's get those thumbs up. Thank you very much indeed. I didn't expect many people to be watching tonight. It is, after all, New Year's Eve. So I would imagine, let me just put my phone on silent. Um, I would imagine that lots of people are out on the lash and giving it some beans and getting horribly drunk and will be regretting it tomorrow morning. But uh, fair play to them. And uh, I, I hope everyone has a fantastic night. If you're just sitting in the house having a few bevies, I hope you have a jolly good old time. And uh, if you're like me and don't drink and a bit of a miserable twat and don't like going out, then uh, crack on nothing wrong with that at all it's all good and like i said at christmas there is you know new year's new year's eve and around about this time can be quite challenging to some people so if you know anyone that's a bit lonely if you know anyone that's lost someone or something this year like a pet um or if there is uh, a, an old family member you haven't spoken to for a while or someone like that just reach out just reach out before it gets to new year's eve just to let them know that you are thinking of them and that they're uh, they're in your mind and make some arrangements to go and hang out with them in the new year because it's uh, it is a tough time both at christmas and new year so please just reach out to uh, to someone and just say hello even if it's via Facebook, if it's just all you're going to do, do something. That would be lovely. Let's start 2019 off on a nice positive note. Right. We've got a can of Monster here. It's the first one I've had for ages. So there we go. Uh, oh, it's fizzy. Oh, it's fizzy. Things just are not fitting. This T-shirt looks like it's really dirty. It's not. I promise. I promise it's not really dirty. Um, shadows. Right. I look like a right tramp tonight, don't I? <laughs> oh, I've just overdripped like a bastard. Now, we've got a couple of things to go over this evening. We've got a couple of things happening. Um, we've got some juice to talk about, and I will go into that before before we uh, before we go into it. I'll tell you all about it in a minute, um, but I mentioned it in the last Monday Night Live, I think, and I'm not going to start doing juice reviews. I'm not, so don't. If you think about sending me a juice to review it, stop. Just stop yourself. Stop before you begin. Before There's a song there, isn't there? Stop before you begin. I'm sure there is. Anyway, um, yes, don't do it. I'm not going to review juice. But there is some stuff I, I want to check out with Zample Box, and they're not a sponsor either. So I'll tell you about that. I also am going to tell you about the goat, which I have been rocking um, on and off on top of this Batium right here. And uh, when did I unbox this? There's a bunch of fabulous patrons in the chat so um someone tell me when i unbox this it was i think it was was it saturday i think i unboxed this saturday maybe friday saturday i don't think it was sunday but um yes so let's have a, let's have a, just a cheeky little vape first i am we'll talk about that in a minute we'll talk about that in a minute but what else have i got to be going on with right i'm still rocking a uh a recurve over the top of the bassium which i uh which has got a, a wrap from zapwraps.co.uk which is this wood one which i did when i showed people how to wrap a mod so that's rocking um i've got a cheeky 50 watts going through there and in there at the moment is the Shindo Mint Chip Cookies and Cream. You might remember that I think it was last week. I think it was last week that I did the, uh, I just mixed up 120 mil of this. And that's that's that um, fairly smashed through that bad boy. So that's gone jolly well indeed. Uh, what else have we got going on? Um, 
what else have we got going on? So we've got that. I have got been using the uh, the, the Bonza kit as well. That's been happening. But uh, I haven't got a battery in there at the minute because I took it out to, uh, to charge it up. I have been having a little play again with this little kit from uh, from uh, Vandy Vape, the Apollo kit. Um, it's still, it's a little, I tell you, it's a, it's a little banger of a little mouth to lung. I'm not super excited about it, and I've not gone hardcore into testing it, but it's been one of those things where I've been using it sort of, you know, on and off. And it's, you know, it's not been too bad. Um a couple of times over Christmas I've used that. I would still be using the Artery PAL 2, but I haven't changed that coil that's inside there yet, which I told you about last week. But, you know, it's been Christmas. It's been Christmas, isn't it? So uh, so that's why I've not, uh, I've not changed, because I've had other Christmas things to do. So that's been a thing. Last night, I tell you, I sat, was it last night? I put it up on Instagram. I sat there, no, night before. I made myself a bunch of, uh, I made myself a bunch of uh, beard oil, which makes me very, very happy because whilst it looks like garbage because I've not brushed it, it feels lovely. <laughs> so I mixed up a bunch of beard oil. I've got some, uh, I've got some uh, beard, um, uh, not wax, balm. I've got some balm to make up next, and then, uh, and then we'll be, uh, we'll, I'll be quite happy. That'll last me for a little while. Alex says it was Saturday that I unboxed the goat. Thank you very much, Alex. Nice to, nice to know that someone's got a memory because I most certainly have not. Um, good. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try and let's just take a breath. Let's just take a breath. Let's have a drink. Thank you for all those thumbs up, you lovely people. There you go. Look, see, this is this is like a Beetlejuice thing. I said Zap Raps three times, and there he is in chat. Zap Raps. <laughs> he is doing a phenomenal amount of raps at the moment for a whole mess of different types of mods. So if you want to change up the look of your mod, obviously you can do it with a Bassium, but there is a, you, pretty much every kind of funky new modern mod that's out there. Um, the uh, the people over at Zap Raps will do a rap for and a funky one at that. So if you want to change it up and make it look cool, you certainly can. You certainly can. Um, Rockabilly performance RC vape and biker beard care range. I tell you, it's not. It's it, apart from the legality of producing a beard oil, because much like e-liquid, there is there is a there is a kind of a, a thing. There is a process. There is a there is a thing to say whether you can uh, do it or not. So the, the, it might all happen. It might all happen. <coughs> Pardon me. Excuse me. Apologies if you don't like belching. I'll try not to make a habit of it. That one just kind of slipped out. <sighs> right, what should we talk about first? Should we talk about the goat or shall we talk about juice? I'm going to talk about juice first just because it's a thing. It's 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 to my right and I, uh, I, I'm, I want to talk about it. And then we'll talk about the goat and then we'll do then we'll do a bunch of uh, then we'll do a bunch of um, questions, stuff. We'll have a chat. We'll have a New Year's Eve chat. So there we go. Right. Shall we do a drinking game? With like, you know, you've got a naked drink every time I say lovely old job or uh, uh, whatever I was saying a lot at the start, which I can't remember. No. Bosh. If whenever I say Bosh, you got a drink. Okay, so I'm keeping an eye. Um, uh, I'm keeping an eye on the chat just to make sure everybody is okay. So let me tell you about this. So Zamplebox have been in touch in the past and they've asked about sponsoring or, or whatever else and advertising and all that. And I've said no because, as you guys know, I don't have sponsors. I don't have any paid adverts. I don't have any paid reviews. I don't have any paid Q jumps. I do none of that because I treat everybody exactly the same. So that way, it doesn't make a difference if if a company's got a deep pocket because and for those of you that don't know I'm not going to go into it too much but for me it's not something that I want to do if I if I, I don't do that many reviews a week and I want to review stuff that I think is interesting that's different that's that's uh, that's kind of you know worth doing do you know what I mean what I don't want to do is I don't want to have five reviews a week that are all paid which whilst they would help my bank account considerably um it might stop or it might reduce the chance of some cool stuff getting out there to you guys just from me. I'm not saying about it to about any other any other reviewers just in my kind of situation because I don't pump out that many um, reviews and what have you a week anyway. So 
It's just something where for me, I find it best just to be straight through. Nobody pays for anything. Then it doesn't make any difference how big the company is or how deep their pockets are. If I think something's interesting, I'll show you. If I think it's a lad of Al Gash, then uh, either I won't show you or I'll, I, everything that comes to me, I talk about in a Monday Night Live, whether it's a tank or whether it's a, 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 a mod, just a Gash thing, whatever. Um, I'll talk about it in a Monday Night Live and you can see those details on my website. Um, but when it comes to reviews, it's just going to be the stuff that I think is interesting. That's why things like patrons are so important to me, because it helps me doing what I'm doing um, where, you know, I'm not getting money from companies. So, you know, it's one of those it's one of those things. People will either dig it or they won't. Anyway, when it comes to Zample Box, I said, do you know what? Um, I, I would be more than happy to, uh, to get a box of this, um, because I think it might be interesting for you guys. I'm not going to give, go through juice tasting and all that bullshit. I'm not going to do that. However, Mrs. Biker is going to be doing some juice tasting as she does. She does her juice reviews on the website. So over the next month, there'll be some of her sample box reviews going up. But for this, for me, it's one of those things where, um, I I get really bored of juice because I'm vaping so much. I'm sure there's, there must be a lot of you out there that are the same. You vape so much, you just get bored senses of it. And it's been a long while since I've had um, a kind of an all day vape that I've stuck with for, for months and months and months. You know, it's been a long time since that's been the case. And I, I'm not entirely sure. People, A lot of people will ask kind of, well, what, what flavors do you want? What do you want to go for? And a lot of the time, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. And so something like this is good for me because it gives me the chance to taste a bunch of different flavors that I wouldn't, or a different bunch of profiles that I wouldn't ordinarily go with, which I think is really, really cool. So for those of you that don't know about these, there are a bunch of different um, subscription services out there in, um, in these days. But uh, Zample Box is over in America, in the good old US of A. You can get boxes with different amounts. And I, I, might, I might talk about this again next week, just because I'll have had a chance to try everything properly. I don't know. But you get to choose different amounts of bottles you have in your box. Um, these are 30 mil bottles. Now, these are three milligram. The one thing that I'm trying to find out, um, because one of the patrons, one unboxed these and tasted a bunch for the patrons earlier on today said that uh, he'd had an issue where um, sample box were only sending zero milligram to the UK <coughs> excuse me <coughs> zero milligram to the UK I guess it was because of TPD but it meant that um, it was the same juice, but just less in a bottle. So when you added your own stuff to it, it was diluted. Now, I don't know where we stand on that. I've sent an email to Chris at Zample Box to find out if that is still the case. Because part of me, in my head, and I'm going to have to go and look at it. Obviously, it, it's been over time recently, so forgive me if I'm wrong. But I was under the impression that you could order whatever you wanted from abroad, as long as you weren't a shop and it was retail and all that sort of stuff. And one of the points of confusion that some of the people like DHL and people like that can have, or UPS, I think is one of the big ones, is that they misread the, the rules and regulations. So I was under the impression that I could order, a, you know, 120 mil of three milligram for with a, I don't know, 50 mil tank and still get it if it's for me if it's for for, for retail or for selling then hell no but um but no so when it comes to uh when it comes to juice i'm gonna have to brush up just on that but i've not had to look at that so um but I'm, i've asked sample box what the script is on that one hopefully i'll be able to find out soon and be able to let you guys know a little bit more but for those of you that don't know what this is all about then i figured i'd show you because you know it's not a it's not a paid review. I just think these sort of things, whether it's on for box you go with or whoever the fuck you go, I don't care. But it's, I think it's an interesting, an interesting little idea because it does give you the option of seeing stuff or trying stuff or tasting stuff that you wouldn't necessarily always go with. So let me show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what what you do. So when you go onto their website, I'm not going to show you the, the full mashings because that's just going to be far too long. Um, when you go onto their website, uh, right, hold you on, you get to choose a whole mess of things. Now, well, 
Now, on here, these are all of the, the things that I chose. These are the things, the sort of flavours and vibes that I really like. And that's that's what I uh, I um, I went with. OK, so you get to choose a load. I can't remember how many you can choose, but a fuck ton is, is essentially the, the key there. Um, and then when it comes to disliked flavours, uh, which are down here... Um, there we go. So I've disliked these ones. These are ones that I don't want to get. Um, so I haven't got any of those sort of flavors, which I think is good. They do offer you a couple of suggestions and all that sort of nonsense. So you do that. You choose which sort of box you want. And you can have three, six or 11 bottles in your box. And it's zero, three or six milligram, which I think is a flipping good idea. Now then, cracking open this box. Oh, zoom out, Dean. Zoom out. Whoa, messy desk. Cracking open this box. Um, let's just go full, full dang cam. We're not going to spend much, much longer on this one because, you know, you're probably going to be super bored. But, uh, but no, we'll spend a little bit on there. Right, on this, the little chappy right here, um, which I think is quite good. So, taste your e-liquids and sample box this month. Take a photo of you. There you go. Some of that sort of nonsense going on in there. But what I think is more interesting is when you rate the e-liquids in your sample box, our flavor system takes note of what you really like and adjust to connect you with more e-liquids that you'll love. Just head over to your profile page on samplebox.com to rate your box. Um, so, it looks as though their printer was running out there. But... This helps further kind of tailor what, what you're going to get in the box, which I think is really, really good. Um, because, you know, I'm, I'm basic like that. I, I like things that, uh, that are tailored to me. And in here, essentially, we've got, I've got one out at the moment. I am currently vaping on this, uh, Tyrant Fallen Empire. Um, but uh, there's there's two rows of, uh, of flavors going on here. They're all 30 mil bottles. Most of them are plastic, um, and uh, and uh, yeah. So that was that's that's that, which I thought was was jolly good. Um, there's only been one that I've thought was just worse than the worst thing I've ever had ever, um, and that was that was this one. This this is a sweet and salty popcorn now if any anybody out there tell me if you vape this and this is your like all day vape because if it is i think you need to have a word with yourself there i think there is possibly something wrong with you and you should seek medical attention asap this oh my days i did not like this at all as my uh as my um uh, 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 patrons will uh, will vouch that did not go well when I tasted that one earlier on. But no, for me, there's been a bunch of uh, nice flavours going on on here. Uh, we've got some things like uh, this sort of peach and pear juice head situation going on there. I'm not going to go into it, but what I will tell you is that over the next sort of couple of weeks, when I try out different flavours from the box, I will let you know which flavours they are, which ones I'm having, which ones I'm enjoying, and all that sort of stuff. And you'll probably see it in the... Uh, in the in the in the reviews and stuff as well but here we go these are the ones that i've got in this box there you can have a little look at those and that sort of just gives you an idea of what goes on one of the things i thought was really nice this is kind of a you know i guess it's a it's not super personalized but they kind of you know i live i live in norwich so you know good for them i like that um and yeah so bosh loads of different flavors loads of different options and that's pardon me, what you get to play with. So I will let you know, tell you what I'm not going to do, is I'm not going to leave that fucking juice out because that is going to upset my shit. Um, I'm going to get the peach and pear one out. That's what I'm going to do. Um, but uh, no, I'll let you know how I get on and just and just if there's any flavours that I really like out of all of that sort of stuff uh, because I'm just at that point when, when I can't think of anything that I want to vape. And so this just gives me a bunch of options, which I think is really, really good. So this box of 11 um, is like $66, I think it is. Um, it's worth about 185, I think it said. So I think that is, uh, that's, you know, that's, it, it seems like a good deal. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It seems like a good deal to me. Now, <clears throat> You will see a couple of people in chat. There are patrons that have been uh, that are, are, are trying to get me to, to 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 taste the popcorn one. It's because things did not go well. They did not go well on the Patreon stream when I tested a bunch of them earlier on today. And I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. No, 
poke it. It's not happening. Um, anyway, I am vaping on uh, on this this thing from Coilart, the Lux 200 um, from Coilart, and I've got a D Pro Mini sitting on top of there. I'm just vaping on this really because it's uh, because it's uh, a thing. I have shown it to you before, but let me just show it to you once again. Let me get you in focus. Um, there you go. It's got this kind of weird blue film going on on the outside of it. Lux to it's got a screen that's very ages like um it seems to be all right but it's there's lots of harsh corners and it's just way too big for what it needs to be it doesn't need to be that big woof i know it's just muck on there sorry um so uh yeah so i'm i am not a fan of this mod at all not not at all it's it's not cool um right anyway let's have a uh i am vaping on the tyranny fallen empire and i've got through about uh, Five, six mil of that. Nice. I like this. I like this flavour a lot. Anyway, the Coiler D Pro Mini on the top of that, um, which I'm loving. I love the D Pro Mini. It's a, that is a uh, that's a that's about a four year old signature tips um, drip tip. That little, that little, is it Teflon? It might be Teflon, can't remember. Fictitious character says, I didn't think the popcorn vape was unvapable. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it up there in the big wide world for you, look. Uh, I didn't think the popcorn vape was unvapable, but not my favourite by any means. I wouldn't get it again. No, for me, I just, I thought it was flipping awful. I just really really disliked it so much so much um bob afton is vaping on raspberry ice tea e liquid nice ice tea Ooh. could be quite throaty the old iced teas from what i remember um but uh but there we go this just things are not working out at all well but there we go so but it's just horses for courses isn't it when it comes to this is why i don't do e-liquid reviews because everyone's taste changes massively um but uh for me personally uh, no it was horrible it was horrible i did not like it at all uh -uh. um i thought the d pro mini just had one air hole on each side no it's got three it's got three little ones it's got three little dinky ones look look do 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 where are we where are we let me let me look I'm sure everybody has seen the D Pro Mini by now, but this is one of the bangers from last year or from this year. The D Pro Mini. Sorry about the teeth marks on the drip tip. Yeah, three little holes. Bosh. There you go. Some of those apples. Oh, I said Bosh again. Um, but there we go. So, um, Very nice too. Very nice too. Uh, what else have we got? Anyone saying anything that I should be seeing? Um, nobody wants herpes. That's not right. West End. West End e-liquid. How are you doing, buddy? Um, how, how are you doing? If you're over in the States, go and see. West End. Have any of your liquids over in the UK yet? Are they? I don't know. Um, but uh, it makes some very nice sort of flavour concentrate one shot things. Very good. Very good. Go and check some of those bad boys out. Uh, right. What else have we got? What else have we got? Well, we've got we've got the goat to talk about, haven't we? We've got the goat. The goat. <clears throat> Pardon? Pardon a moi. Right. What have we got going on here? Whoops. Uh, now, this is the gunmetal goat. This is the gunmetal. We've got the two coils going on up the top here. And uh, we, we I probably will be doing a review of this one. And uh, it might be sooner rather than later. And I will explain why. I have been rocking it now for a couple of days. But because it is an N80 coil, it's anarchist wire on the inside. Uh, I can't vape it all day because otherwise I get a, a, a monster headache. So that's a bit of a bit of a pain in the bum. But that being said... Um, I've got the, uh, come on, come on, let's, let's, let's do things properly. Let's, let's, uh, focus, look at that. Um, so what we've got going on up the top there, you can see that hole 
at 12 o'clock on that top clamp going on up the top there. And that means that when uh, you vape, uh, sorry, when you squonk, uh, hang on, where am I? Where's, where's my, there it is. Uh, gosh, look at that. Have some of those apples. What? Uh, lovely. And I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. We have seen top um, top squonking kind of atomizers in the past, but I like that a lot. Now then, um, we did have a brief chat on the last uh, on the last um, Monday Night Live about the goat, and I didn't have this at that point in time, but I knew it was on the way. And there was there was talk, and there, there, there's always talk about these about these sort of things. Um, and about their purpose, what what sort of gap they fill in the market, and all that sort of stuff. And I I get I get where this has come from. Let me just have a little vape on this one. This is at eighty eight point eight watts. You can't can you? It's at eighty eight point eight watts anyway. Uh, it's uh, let's go. We've got some we've got some nice cloudage. Do you want to see some more cloudage? Let's see how we get on. All right, hold on. So there we go. If clouds are your thing, you can have them on this. But one of the things that I was really and genuinely, genuinely surprised about was how quiet and smooth this airflow is. It's not, you know, it's not stone dead quiet. Not that. That's not. That's not a phrase at all. That's not a phrase in the slightest. But it's not. It's not the quietest in the world. But it's very, very smooth. And quite frankly, that surprised me a lot because we have the sort of the large sort of cycloptic airflow hole, the, the big hole at a time where we've got so many RDAs that have got multiple holes in them, which diffuse the airflow and you get that nice restriction. But you also get a nice smoothness come in. Um, the goat has just got these dirty great big holes in a kind of old school kind of ish kind of way. Um, but they really fucking work. I think they really, really work. And that's why they're placed as low as they are, because that air is coming in, it's hitting the coil, and then it's just going straight up, which I think is fantastic. You've got a lovely dome cap in there, so the flavour on it is on point as well. Um, but no, for the, from, a, from a smoothness, because I saw these holes and I thought, this is not going to be a smooth vape. This is going to be, you know, a little bit chundery, which would have, would have surprised me because Nick with his turbulent and all that sort of, of stuff, um, that would have bothered me greatly. However, I was shocked, genuinely stunned that, um, that uh, this really isn't the case. Is the goat a tight draw? Says Dion78. No, Dion78, it is not. And I can show you the size of the uh, look at the size of those air holes there. Look, big monster beasties. So, uh, yeah, some of that action going on. And uh, and I think that's great. So you can have it. I have it closed off about a third, maybe. That's probably about a quarter by at the moment. I'm going to turn it just a hint. Um, what I like about this is even though it's a smooth, you know, goonish sort of look to it on the top there, um, you, the the O rings are really good tolerances. They're a really nice tolerance, which means that you can alter your airflow um, once it's been uh, even sitting on your desk for for a day. You know, a lot of RDAs will sort of tighten up the uh, the the O rings will absorb e liquid and condensation and stuff. They'll tighten up, and then it means you just cannot, for love nor money, change that airflow. With this one, um, you can, which I think is really really good. But no, I am all over that. I am all over that. To make that perfect for me, I would love them to do a Canthal coil. Just because Canthal is nice and strong, so you can re-wick a Canthal coil more times than you can do that with a stainless coil. Um, you can stick a Canthal coil on a regulated mod and, you know, you can rock a 0 0.2 or a 0 0.25 or 0 0.3 and, uh, and be perfectly fine because, pardon me, with a regulated mod, you can just bang up the wattage, which I think is a good idea. Um, but for me personally, I can only vape it for short sort of bits because otherwise I do get headaches and stuff because I have a, I'm, I'm a little bit delicate with nickel. Now, I know most wire has nickel in it, but just N80 obviously does have a, a lot stronger nickel content. So, um, no, I mean, I think it's 
I think it's a good idea. Why is it a good idea? Because it is the transition from sub-ohm tanks to RDAs. It's that thing that's in the middle. We have seen the iJoy one before, but I can tell you 100% it was not as good as the go goat. Go no, goat. <laughs> the goat. The goat is a million times better, in my humble opinion, than what we've had in this kind of arena in the past. And so that, I think, is very, very good. I think it's coming in at around about 35 quid as well, which is quite uh, quite inexpensive. It is, um, I think it's about sort of 13, 14, 15 quid for two spare coils, which is a bit, it's a bit steep. It is a bit steep, um, but uh, you can re-wick them. So, you know, you can you can dry burn, re-wick and all that sort of stuff. Now, they are spaced, which means you haven't got to strum them when you do get them. You do have to trim your, your wick down. Uh, but once you tr trimmed your wick, get it in there. You don't have to strum it. You can just crack on. Now, I know for a fact what's happened when it comes to the goat is that once it's all been put together, it all gets like properly cleaned uh can't remember the process but it gets it gets a proper cleaning and then the it goes on the production line where everybody has to wear gloves and all that sort of stuff uh where they put the wick in to make sure that it all stays clean and it doesn't get any nastiness on there so i had no problem just cutting the wick down juicing it up and vaping on it and it's i've got no issue with that whatsoever and so Two coils could potentially last you um, a fair while, depending on what juice you vape, obviously, and depending on how hard you vape, I guess, and what kind of temperature and stuff. But for me, I think that would last a long time. But I would, would, would love to see those guys do a canthal coil because I just think for me personally, it would um, it would just make me a lot happy. Yes, it's got a, a longer ramp up time and uh, and it wouldn't have quite the low resistance for mech users, but mech users possibly may not be those transitioners. Do you know what I mean? The people going from sub-ohm tanks with, with a, a regulated mod like this, this coil art thingy, is it coil art? Yeah, coil art thingy. Um, through to, to getting that RDI experience, they might keep with the mod that they're used to using, that they're safe using, that they know how to use, um, and then and then get a Canthal goat on the top, and I think that would be fantastic. Personally, that's what I think. Um, Derry and uh, Teus, Happy New Year to you guys as well. Thank you very much indeed. So yeah, I, I definitely get being that transition moment, it works out really, really nicely. I think that's a good idea. I think the price is good. I just really do think that particularly um, for people that may not quite understand if they've got any kind of nickel allergens or allergies or anything like that, um, I think a canthal coil would be a good idea personally because if it's going on a uh, if it's going on a, a, a regulated mod, then pff, what does it matter? Do you know what I mean? Um, so I think that would, that I, I would, yes, it would be lovely to see a single coil deck at some point in time, but I'd give no shits about that. I would like to see the very next thing they do be a Canthal coil. I doubt they will. I don't know if they will. Who knows? But that's what I'd like to see. And I will ask them once everyone's back off the Christmas and New Year holidays. I will ask and see if there's anything else I can find out. Who knows? We might be able to convince one or two or both of them to uh, to come on to the, uh, come on to the show at some point. Viv is saying thirty five ninety nine for the goat, twelve ninety nine um for two coils. Great stuff. Thank you very much indeed. That's in the UK obviously. Now, mine came from Ohm's Distro in the UK. So if you're a shop and or you want your shop to get them in, get them to get in contact with Ohm's Distro. Ohm's, Ohm's Distro as as the name suggests, Distro. Distro? Distro. <laughs> <laughs> we had a thing with the with the patrons the other day where I was trying to say when lots of liquid so the, the action of it becoming together in a pool of e-liquid I was trying to say pooling pooling and the more I said it the less I could say it so if you do get drunk tonight because it's New Year's Eve just sit in a little group of you and try and say pooling because every time you say it it'll go from pooling to pooling to pooling to or oh, it's stupid but it, it, it got me anyway let's have another little two of this one what would you compare the goat to um a bunch of rdas nice strong airy rdas to be honest with you the fact that you don't have to build the coils um i i, I would think a lot of you know this already but i'll show you what's in the coil i want to get one that i've already opened because 
this gunmetal one will go to one of my patrons at some point in time. But where is where is my box? Where is my box? Where is my box? I've lost my box. That's there it is. It's not even in my not even in my thing. But I will show you the extra uh, jobby you get. Hang on, hang on. We'll go with whoa, some of those apples. So um, in the box there, we get all this. Oh, fuck me sideways. Hang on, manual. So the box, like that, lovely old job. It's quite a small box, nice for if you're in your shops and all that sort of stuff. In the top there, that's where you get your coils. And this is what the coils look like. So it's the whole centre post of the, uh, the RDA that screws in. Now, on the back of the box, you will see that, where are we? There you go. It says 122 gauge coil head at 0.13, 124 gauge at 0.19. And that is, this is your coil head, like so. And uh, there's your little corn coil going up the top of there. And on the very top of it, if I can get it in focus and the right way up and get the right light on it. There we go. You can see that there's the 22 there. Can you see that? That 22, so that depicts which coil is in here and therefore which resistance you're going to be playing with. So uh, it says you've got the anarchist wire going on there and 22 gauge. So this one's the 0.13. So this will be rocket it for, for MEX. Now then, one of the things that I will say about this, which was a little bit of a surprise when we looked at it in the unboxing, um, which, uh, which I did with the, uh, with the, with the uh, patrons on Saturday, was the fact that we don't have a massively protruding 510. It is protruding, but not a whole hell of beans. Let's just take that, brighten that up so you can see that a little bit more. Um, so that did surprise me a little bit. I did expect a more protruding 510 than that, in all honesty, um, for uh, hybrid mech users. Now, this predominantly is really kind of a squonking beast of an RDA, because once you squonk in, it goes through the top, it's, it comes out, it, it waterfalls all over your coils, like I showed you earlier on, and it's coming out of that hole up the top there which is fine and that means that there isn't any juice that drains back down into the bottle uh, when you're squonking and so you can over squonk and you can over drip uh, because obviously it's, it would take a hell of a lot of juice to go back down that top that top hole of course so you know just something to be aware of on that one but now I mean I would imagine the majority of people will use this on a squonker but if you do use it on a mech just be careful, particularly with the length of that 510, uh, if you're thinking of using it in a hybrid mechanical device. Cool? Cool. Right. So, that sort of stuff. Uh, I believe Mr. Green, Lassie says, I believe Mr. Green said, hang on, hang on. Let me just, I want to put it up so we can all read it together. Uh, I believe Mr. Green said in his vlog that they're going to release lots of different coil options for the game, including coil heads to build it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, however, I know a lot of, I think Coil Ted does a lot of N80 stuff, if I remember correctly. So for me, it's all about that material that gets used. It's all about getting some canthal in for people that can have a bit of a nickel allergy. So... There we go. But uh, if there, the only thing that I would kind of put a kind of, uh, that, well, there's two things. There's two things that I would like to see slightly different on this. One is the material of the coil and two is a longer 510 pin. That's it. But other than that, I think it vapes absolutely brilliantly. Now, Powell says, uh, squonking from the top isn't any better than low set coil uh, with squonk pin in the middle of the... Well, I would disagree to a point with you on that one, Powell. And that's just because um, if, you vape, if you're someone like me that tends to vape the coils dry quite often because you forget to squonk because you're an idiot, then, um, then uh, one of the things that can happen is you can go, oh, I just tasted a little bit of dryness. So you, 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 you squonk your, your thing and then it has to sort of juice up and get into your coil. When you're doing it this way, 
it's water falling over the top of that coil straight away. So before your wick gets a chance to kind of sizzle under the sort of the heat of the coil while it's waiting for the juice to get in there to kind of stop it burning, it's it's getting on top. So it's sort of a, a direct access. That's my opinion at the very least. So um, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, other than a couple of times, I've not really over squonked. All I've done is I vaped away. And then after I've had a two or three vapes, I'll give it a little squonk. And then that's that. And I haven't had to worry about it. But yeah, I mean, as far as looks go, it is it is quite goonesque, isn't it? It does look a little bit goony. But uh, but no, I mean, I'm I'm uh, I will do a full proper review on that one. Uh, but it's uh, all in all, those are the only two negatives that I can kind of throw at it at the moment, at the very least. That's all I can uh, I can do. Um, Put the vaping biker build in the coil heads. <laughs> Absolutely, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Uh, um, now, what else have we got? Have we got anyone in chat saying things? I'm pretty much almost running out of stuff to talk about. Really? So if you've got any questions or if you've got anything you just want to chat about because it's New Year's Eve, you're in, you're bored, then uh, crack on. Just keep it clean and uh, don't give me any shit because I'll block you. Because that's the sort of person that I am. Um, we stay, we stay uh, agro-free here, which is the main thing. As I mentioned um, polls earlier on. Oh, make sure as well you put all your questions in uppercase, in capital letters. Hit that caps lock button because then it helps me see them. Um, I won't ban you. I won't. I won't fuck you off just because you shouted at me. It, that's what I want. I want that to happen. <laughs> Sounds a little bit masochistic, doesn't it? Um, what was I saying? No. <sighs> polls yes i i don't i i do my level best to uh, to take myself out of polls wherever i can i think it's you know it's good for people that are that are, have got smaller channels and all that sort of stuff to to kind of get known but when you have like 2000 people voting in a poll that means nothing it represents nothing in vaping because there's millions of vapors so it does absolutely nothing it's just you know if i told you lot to go and and uh, and um vote in a poll and you know person b didn't and then i beat person b then that's just because i told you to go and do it because you know a few hundred of you might do that it doesn't it doesn't achieve anything yeah I, I don't really hold any stock in any of that sort of nonsense to be honest with you um so that's why that hasn't happened but thank you very much anyway uh what else we got chris salter goes dean chris <laughs> Uh, uh, is there no way of putting your own build in the goat deck no there is not there is no way whatsoever the uh the, the the two clampy bits are essentially soldered together pretty much they've got like a post that goes through it's like a rivet slash solder kind of affair so no that's uh that's none of that um uh x101 are you going to be uh, doing a best of 2018 no no i'm not um and the reason is i've had a pretty diverse selection of products this year which i think are really good but i'm not if, if you do if you do a uh, best of really you need to do like your best if you do if you review all these things your best mech your best regulated your best single battery your best dual battery your best stacked your best you know whatever just when it comes to your mod stab wood squonkers um uh, and and you know all that sort of nonsense then um on top of that then you've got tanks do you go single coil or dual coil do you do mouth to lung or do you do direct to lung do you do and when you get to rdas exactly the same again and it's just it's too much of a ball like and quite frankly it's one of those things where any reviewer does it and i guarantee if you look through the comments of any reviewer that's done a 2018 best of and Bloody good job on those guys. Um, I can guarantee that there's people in the comments going, no, no, you're wrong. You missed, you forgot to say such and such. Well, you didn't include in it because that was the best thing ever. And just, you can't keep everyone happy. So, no. You guys know what I like because I tell you what I like when I do the review. That that pretty much sums it up, to be honest with you. Um, so that's that's pretty much where we are at. Now then. No. Oh, No. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> um, do you want me to show you um, Mike's make reviews? Do you want me to show you? Uh, just will it help if I if I show you why it's not something that you can throw your own build in? I think that might be useful. Really, I should wait until I do the review. But fuck it, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you because that's the 
That's the kind of guy that I am. Right, so what we've got here is we've got the two, we've got these two clamps that are kind of thrown together. You can see the post that goes, oh, where's the focus? Where's the focus? You can see the post that goes through the middle in those. And then underneath, that's kind of, that's where that post comes through. And then it all, you know. So if you tried to drill that out or push that out, it would just be a bloody nightmare. I guess if you were really anal, you could possibly drill that out, possibly solder in new posts, possibly put the tiniest threads in the world in there. But I, it's, it just wouldn't be worth it. It wouldn't be worth the aggro. And uh, and just no, that's a, a whole a whole world of, of pain and, and aggro you don't need. They have said, as far as I can remember, that there may be a rebuildable at some point in time. But let's not forget, we've got the uh, recoil and we've got the, the recoil rebel. We've got buildables. We've got rebuildables from uh, from those guys already. So the goat is something in a different in a different um, ilk, in a different thing. I feel like, see, I'm looking at my nails and they look clean. But then when I looked under camera then, they looked a bit nasty. So I apologise for that. Right, now then, have we got any more? Well, we, I'm sure I saw some stuff going on in here. Um... Larry F. Uh, hi, Dean. Happy New Year to you and Mrs. Sunny. still with you guys. Yes. Thank you very much, Larry. She is still with us. She's doing marvellously. She's a fantastic piece. She's super happy since we've moved as well. The extra garden space and everything being on one level and stuff. She's 100% into that. She's all over it. So that she's very happy, Pooch. Um, right. What have we got? Craig Dewar. What do you project, predict innovation wise for 2018 um, or for 2019? Maybe um, as in new coil technology or new ways to vape like the ultrasonic mod tried to do. I don't think I don't think we're going to see anything that's going to take the world by storm innovation wise when it comes to coiling technology. I think we'll probably see some more uh, ceramic stuff. Um, we will see some more mesh. Um, we'll uh, we'll you know, it'll be. It, it, there's only so many ways you can heat a coil, I think. I really think there is. But, um, you know, I, I don't think we're going to see anything more innovative at the moment because unless someone comes up with a whole new way of doing things, I think we'll see kind of regurgitation of previous things. I think we might see we might see kind of the Jenny style mesh side of things, possibly. Um, we might see cable you know, stainless steel cable for, for, to use as wicking for some tanks, maybe. That might, we've kind of, if you've been watching Todd's channel, there's been a little bit of that pootling about over there over the last year. And I think there might be a little bit more of that coming forward, possibly. Um, but what I'm hoping, uh, Craig, is that we get, uh, we get more, not necessarily innovation, but we get more ergonomics when it comes to the mods we get more 21700 stuff and we get stuff that feels nicer in the hand that looks good we've got a lot of mods coming out at the moment and over the next sort of few couple of months that have got um like flashing lights and they're just square and they're i mean you know i like square don't get me wrong but that are that are just look like i don't know anything that smock would produce or anything like that you know we seem to be having a bunch of uh, a bunch of those coming out at the moment and I hope those bugger off sooner rather than later. Um, one of the reasons that I think we haven't had that so far is because when it comes to molding the bodies to get sort of really ergonomic bodies, unless you've got just a curve, which is something that you're able to bend the metal easily with, then it increases production costs, which increases product costs, increases design time. And that means that things aren't going to be kind of mega quick hit sellers um, because they're super cheap, like we're getting inundated with at the moment. So I think that's, I would like to see more ergonomic mods in the, uh, in the in 2019, I think. It would be really nice to see some new materials as well. I think that would be cool. I think things like this, I think the, uh, the what was that? What was the, what was the Geek Vape thing? That was the Aegis. Um, uh, that, this, and uh, another company did, EH Pro did something as well, um, which are more durable. I think it would be cool to see some more durable stuff. I give no shits about stuff being waterproof because as soon as you drop your mod in any water, then whatever you've got on the top is going to be soaked. So that's not going to, that's not going to ha help anyone. Um, but but no, I mean, I think the boards pretty much all should be have water resistance stuff over the over the solder points and the chips and things in this day and age. I think that should be a thing. But uh, but no, when it comes to when it comes to mods, ergonomics, more utilitarian, maybe um, and possibly harder wearing, I think, maybe. 
some of that action. Right, I think we, the chat seems to be moving up. Um, uh, stab would bat him. You know, you want to. Do you know what? It's not something that I've not thought about. <laughs> <laughs> it would be quite chunky though because yeah it'd be a fair old size a stab would 21700 bassium now that'd be interesting um uh -uh. oh monster does make your mouth water up doesn't it okay so what have we got in here going on now um flying sumo's rocking cocktail of the bassium iconic rda and wicklicker boulevard loving it fantastic i've got my iconic somewhere and i've been looking for it since the house moved can i find the fucker can i answers like i've been looking for it everywhere <sighs> i can't i'm going to keep looking for that um what else have we got going on here anyone else putting anything in upper case uh, that i can read uh mick blizzard says look at any best guitarist poll there is never agreement polls are poo absolutely mick i completely 100 percent agree um uh also how the hell do you manage to show up on your comments on the stream like you do well that's just you know there's talent and then there's you know <laughs> <laughs> uh thanks for answering says x101 uh, another question was there one product that surprised you this year was there something that surprised me the bassium that was a surprise i didn't know that was definitely going to happen even though i was working on it the previous year um was there anything that surprised me not a new product but surprised me how much i liked and enjoyed using the billet box uh that was that was kind of exciting um what have I had that surprised me? Have I had anything that's really surprised me? I think I, I th the D Pro Mini was a huge surprise. I didn't expect it to vape the way it does. And I think it's a fantastic little, it's a, it's a little RDA, which has got that kind of high end vibe going on um, from, a, from a vape quality perspective, you know, um, but, uh, but super affordable. But there we go. So uh, yeah, that's that's the I can't remember though. I can't. The C roll was really good value for money. Um, I think uh, no, but otherwise can't remember. I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Uh, Vaping biker is that Lucas Spider the spider in the background? Yes, Glenn. Yes, it is. <laughs> Daddy vape, absolutely. Um, what have we got going on here? Have you seen the Colorado by Vapergate? Uh, wondering your yes, I have seen it. I do, I haven't spoken to Yosh for ages. I probably should reach out and say hello to him. He's a super nice bloke, the guy that runs uh, Vapergate. Um, I've seen it and I think it's just ridiculous. I loved the the big 40 mil mason that I did and the dump tank and all that sort of stuff that I reviewed those just because of how absolutely crazy they were. Um, and you still got a really good vape from them. I think the way that the coils go in the Colorado could be a uh, a bit of a stretch for being a decent vape, but hell, it's just bonkers. I I, I think I, if I saw one going cheap, then I might pick one up just for shits and giggles. But uh, it probably wouldn't get a review review, but it might get like a live thing or something like that. I don't know. Um, when you do the review of the GOAT, could you check single coil airflow to see if it closes down enough? Are you talking about Tony for uh, like a mouth to lung kind of vape or something like that? Because what you've got to remember when it comes to this this um, this uh, RDA, you're not going to close it down so much because it's still quite a large chamber in there. Um, if you reduce the airflow to too much, you're not going to build up any kind of any air actually inside that chamber. And that's going to mean that as soon as it goes in, in the side hole, it will just go straight up. It'll miss your coil completely. So because it's quite a big one, I don't think you're going to want to close this down too much. You know, you want it to be lung and you can go for a nice restricted lung. But in my opinion, I don't think you're going to want to go any closer than a, a restricted lung. I mean, you know, maybe four holes on the recurve, something like that, the equivalent of that. Because like I say, I think if you if you uh, if you restricted that airflow too much just inside there, it wouldn't be able to build up enough air to transport that flavour up. It would just go in and up. 
So hopefully that explains a lot one. Um, uh, 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 how about the new 20? New, uh, I don't know. I haven't got one. I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure Brian is on top of whatever is, is happening. He's a good guy. And uh, you know, guys know that I like Dolph Post, so I'm sure they're fully on top of it. Um, right. Boom. Beam me up. Beam me up. Yeah. Hi, Dean. What about Charger? My Christmas gift to myself was the Skark MC. Right. Now, you guys might know. Let me just unplug this one. You guys might remember that I've got this Galisi charger. Now, pretty much every reviewer in the world got this charger. And, and I'm very happy with it. I like it a lot. But it was absolutely wrecking my batteries. And I didn't know why. And it was really winding me up. Um, so, hang on, hang on, hang on. You'll see, you'll see it. You will. Oh, no, wrong way. Right. So, wrong way. Yep. Yeah. Bosh. Obviously, I've just unplugged it, so I can't, I can't, um, I can't uh, show you what it looks like with the, with the. But it's got a super clear display, super clear display, which I think is really, really good. Have I still got the thing on? Have I still got the? I think I have. I think I have. But it is a super clear display on this. Uh, I have bloody have as well. There we go. Bosh. Um, which I like a lot. It shows you how much is how much is in your uh, batteries. It shows you percentages, all that sort of stuff, which I think is fantastic. Um, I think it's really, really good. I like it. Now, the only thing you do have to be careful about is these. Now, these sections, these little sliders that hold your batteries in, are, these are super sprung. These have got a really kind of strong spring to them, which is good. Um, and one of the good things about this one as well, hang on, uh, let's just get you in here. Oh, up. One of the good things about this as well is you do have a kind of a nipple-esque bit at the top and the uh, and the, the bottom there to make sure that your batteries take it. Um, however, I do have some batteries that will not charge. If they've got a, a thick outer wrap, they won't charge. Now these two, one of these, what, uh, oh yeah, I think these two VAP cells don't charge, um, but I've just had them in there trying to figure out because the wraps are too thick. So that's a bugger. But the issue that I wanted to uh, let you know about with this one is just because of the strength of this spring, because it kind of is really forcing that battery in to make contact, which is good, um, it goes, it flicks up like a bastard. It really does. And what you've got going on is these corners. They're rotters. They they will kill your battery wraps. If when you take your battery out, you're not super careful, and you do have to be super careful because you have to take it out top first and then slide it out. Because if you take it out and it just kind of slides up like that, then when I lift that up, no, that one's all right. That one's actually all right. But it can often just tear, and you'll notice a d -d 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 tear in your batteries. Um, and here is here's here's one. Here's one. Well, that's that's got a proper proper bosh on it. Um, but uh, yeah, so it will upset your 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 shit. Um, but so just make sure that when you do take your batteries out. You take them out top first and then you allow that to slide up. That way you're not going to have this bastard spring up and wreck your battery wraps, which you do just have to be super, super careful with. I'm not entirely. And uh, have I got, I'm sure I've got I've got a bunch of batteries somewhere that need rewrapping as a result of, uh, of this kind of nonsense. Um, I'm just looking. No, no, none of them. Uh, no. And there we go. Here's another one. That's, and you can see that those kind of d -d 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 lines going on there. That's happened. Um, is this one all right? This one's all right. But, uh, but yeah, so you just, just if you've got the Galicia, it's a great charger, it does great things. Um, but yes, it, it will, it will upset your shit. So, uh, there we go. Hopefully that's, that's said. So I can't remember. I know we, we had a reason for talking about charges, but there we go. That was that one. Right. What else have we got going on here then? Uh, I want to see more mech tubes that are of good quality at a reasonable price. Absolutely, West Georgia vaping. Now, the only thing that I, I've, I, I concerns me about mechs is if they're too cheap, people that don't know how to use them buy them. And then, and then just 
things happen and it's not a good thing. So what I would like to see is I would like to see more mechs that offer both the hybrid and a floating uh, floating 510 top cap. That would make me very happy indeed. Um, that would be uh, that would be good to see. But yeah, if they're too cheap, then just everyone and their uncle buys them, and they have no idea what they're doing, which which is quite frankly terrifying. Um, hydro dip, a bassium dean. A friend of mine does do hydro dipping. I could do, but uh, I can't think of any uh, looks that are. I, if I can get my own, mm, I was going to get my own hydro dip print done at some one point in time i might I, it might it might happen you never know um right uh, are you reviewing the top side dual not that i'm aware of tom uh not been sent it so not tried it don't know anything about it really um uh where do you think disposable sub tags are headed uh nowhere hopefully i uh i don't i don't like them i don't think they're a good idea at all i think they produce a massive amount of waste <clears throat> Which is completely unnecessary. So uh, yeah, I'm not really uh, not really into that. Okay, so I'm just scrolling through to see what people are putting in up a case here, so I can let people know what's happening. Now, Nula, how are you doing? And a happy new year to you as well. Um, how is the goat compared to the profile? They're a totally different kettle of fish. Totally different kettle of fish um, there, Ferry. Uh, you've got obviously the profile's got that single coil. It's got that mesh situation going on, or you can put your own in, I think. Um, but it's uh, it's it's different kettle of fish. Um, I prefer the goat. In all honesty, uh, the profile was fantastic because it was the best mesh RDA that I've tried. Still didn't like it that much, but it was the best of that sort of that sort of stuff that I've tried. Um, I, I wish people would stop talking about this because I haven't got one and it upsets me greatly. <laughs> um, uh what do you use in your billet box i need something other than occ coils i've used the insider and i've currently got the vape shell in there at the moment which i need to recoil so there we go and the vape shell vape shell has been my favorite the insider was not the aggro that i expected when it came to to coiling I, i've read a lot of people having issues with it i didn't have any problems with it so you know no problems on that one um uh did i hear you say monday night i would have an earlier start time in 2019 no nope you did not brad <laughs> some uk vendors have the d pro mini in for 13.99 at the moment if you like a restricted long hair if you i mean when you vape this it's not you know you're not doing this you're not doing clouds for day stuff you're doing a long slow restricted lung hair And if that's the sort of thing you like with oodles of flavour, 14 quid, just get one. Just get one. Because cheap as chips and they're marvellous. Um, right, what else have we got? Uh, are you hoping that Todd will bring out a mod in 2019 so you can take the piss out of it? I know he just wouldn't. I know he wouldn't. So I have to continue just to take the piss out of him, which is, you know, it's a bit of an easy target, to be fair. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to give in and design a mech but you never know you never know you never know <laughs> um, right what else we got going on in here anything else in uppercase um i'm having the same trouble with my nightcore n8 when it comes to the the not the not charging or the uh, the the ripping of batteries could go either way on that one um what else have we got i'm just looking for those uppercase comments scrolling down <clears throat> above me have you ever cocked up on a build uh, uh but it turned out well i built a 2.29 ohm on my saver mouth to lung and it's bloody great it's been a while since i've got anywhere near a two i think possibly the last time i got anywhere near a two or like a 1.8 ohm build was when i used um, do you remember in the old days we used to have like like 27, 28 gauge wire, whatever that was in, in millimetres. Um, and you'd get it and to get the spring in the south of it, you'd, you'd get a lighter under it or you'd flame it up first. And then you'd then you'd wrap it around just to try and kind of get it to have any kind of, you know, keep it together once it's in because it was so thin. And I think I remember do, trying to do like 1.8 ohm coils and stuff then. But no, it's been a while. It's been a while. 
Uh, but yes, I have cocked up and I've, I've kind of quite a lot. I've kind of gone, right, well, I'm going to aim for a, a point two and it's come out at something different and it's been fantastic. But there we go. Um, what is your best single coil RDA except the D Pro Mini? There's a few in that kind of in that kind of vibe. There's the Shogun from Vapor's Cloud that was very good, and now they've got the different coloured caps and stuff. That's marvellous. Um, the C Roll that was fantastic. Um, uh, the Recurve from Mike Vapes that was fantastic. Um, so there's there's a bunch. This year has been the year of single coils, in my opinion. It really, really has. Um, Deborah Connor's got to go, unfortunately, working tomorrow. Uh, working in retail sucks, absolutely. But thank you very much for coming in, Deborah. And I hope you have a fantastic New Year's Day that's not too full of annoying bargain hunters. Uh, what else have we got going on in Ha? Uh, uppercase, uppercase. Uh, are you are you interested in trying the new Molly Cell eighteen six fifties? Not really, not really, to be honest with you. To be honest, when it comes to eighteen six fifties, right? I am like VTC five A's all the way. I've got a, I've got a thing here which is generally full of eighteen six fifty of VTC five A's, either rewrapped or, but they're all VTC five A's. Um, that's generally full of those bad boys. Um, or I use the Samsung, um, uh, uh, fucking what are they called? What are the what are the what are the things? What are the? I use the LG H H D T. Are they? I can't remember. My brain doesn't work anymore. Someone help me. The doo doo browns. The doo doo browns are marvellous. I like those a lot. And then the the Samsung pink ones. <laughs> I like them. They're my regulated eighteen six fifties. But otherwise, it's thirty Ts for me all the way. I've not tried a 40T yet. I want to uh, give one of those a go. Uh, Gary Shilton, have you tried uh, Lemon Lush from the Roachford Project? No, I have not. No, I have not. Um, right, there we go. Uh, full squonkers with removable bottle and battery and an RDA with detachable topical. What? 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 Viv? What? Come again? <laughs> <laughs> Bosh, Alex McKenzie, get up here. <laughs> well, we have a vaping biker beard care range. If so, I'll take two. You never know. It depends on the uh, the legality of what's involved on that one. Um, your thoughts on the battery company doing uh, batteries just for vape? I think I, I haven't got any. I've got. I've, I've not really got a massive amount of faith in it. I'm not going to lie. I've not got a huge amount of faith in it because I think, um, you know, Sony, Samsung, people like this spend billions in getting their batteries right. You know, if you're going to go to a, a company that just sort of produces some rando stuff, I, I think it's going to struggle for a little bit, to be honest with you. But, you know, I'm not battery mooch. I would, if for, for any of that, I would always just go and check out and see what battery mooch is saying, to be honest with you. Uh, right. King's Custard by DIY or Die. King's Custard. There was also King's Custard from, uh, what's, what's the chap's name? Is he up in Scotland? Uh, Queen's Custard, King's Custard. He's been doing juice for years, years and years and years. Anyway, there's, yeah. Um, I've, I've not really been into a, a whole hell of a lot of custard. I, the Gizzard Brew. Really like that. Really got into that one. The Nata, the from from Bishop from the Raspberry Nata, that was really nice as well. Really enjoyed that one. Um, and uh, yeah, jobs are fucking good. That's that's that. Right. Well, I think that's pretty much it. We're we're not far off an hour and a half. We're not far off an hour and a half this evening. I don't think there's a massive amount for me to talk to you about. There is um, coming out uh, up in the in the uh, um, near future will be a, 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 a studio tour with it being a little bit tidier than it is right now. But there will be a studio tour um, just showing you bits and bobs and the tech stuff that I'm using and all that sort of nonsense. So I know that there are some people that are interested in that. Um, 
and so you know that'll be that'll be a thing that'll be nice uh we've also we'll be having some reviews i'm thinking about doing a week where we don't go for the high production value stuff but what we do do is we do a um uh, a bunch of reviews maybe live ones or just super simple ones where uh, uh i cover things that i haven't reviewed in the earlier part of the year or prior to now where I, i've kind of really enjoyed using them but i've just not reviewed them for one reason or another time or or whatever so um i think we might do a week or, or something like that but i want to you know i do want to really push forward with the with the high production level stuff and uh, so we can push through with that one uh, I've been, I know I've been lax. I've talked about this before. We're not going to go into it, but I know I've been lax because of, there's been various things that have stopped me from putting content out there. But thank you for, for sticking with me for those of you that have. Thank you even more to the patrons because without their help, I wouldn't be able to get into uh, doing the stuff that I do. Um, and uh, hopefully we can both expand the channel and expand the Patreon scheme and I can get out more stuff and we can kind of get more shit happening, which is what I'd really like to achieve but i do want i want the best quality of content that i can get out there not just factual about the stuff but something that looks nice and sounds nice and you know that, that he's just got more meat and bones to it um we might have some more sort of vloggy kind of out and about you kind of reviews um but yeah there's going to be more of that sort of action going on in the, in 2019 because i just want to do that different take on uh, on vaping on on vape reviews you know because i think a lot of us are bored senseless of uh, of doing exactly the same thing all the time you're going to have your favorite reviewers those guys do fantastic jobs i'm sure um so i think there's more than enough space for uh, for for me to do something a little bit different and I would actively encourage anybody that's thinking of reviewing in 2019, fucking get in there and do it. It is great fun. I've had four or five years now of having an absolute blast doing it. I love it. I've met some amazing people and and uh, had some great experiences. I've been able to do stuff, get hold of stuff, vape stuff that I wouldn't have been able to do uh, previously. But more importantly, I've been able to get what goes on in my little brain out into the big wide world and some people have kind of dug it which blows me away so obviously there's a lot of people that think i'm a wanker but i can't please everyone and to them <laughs> so what can you do So really, um, when it comes to 2019, we're going to be doing more, we're going to be doing better, and we're going to try and just blow things up a little bit, you know, we're going to try and sort of push things, push the envelope a little bit and uh, and try and do some stuff that, that hopefully you guys will carry on enjoying. That's my plan anyway. So... Um, but otherwise, it'll be exactly the same as 2018. There will be ups and downs. There will be good stuff. There'll be bad stuff. But if we can try and all concentrate on the good stuff, that means the less stuff has less power when it comes to negatively influencing our approach to life. So uh, try and stay positive. And if you're struggling with anything, be it uh, be it be it uh, sort of personal issues or mental issues or physical issues or any of that sort of stuff, don't forget ask for help. It doesn't make you a weak person. Um, and if you know somebody that's a little bit lonely or know someone that's by themselves this year or has lost someone important this time of year sucks for that sort of stuff so just give them a reach out and uh, and uh, and just say hello just you know strike up a conversation that might be nice it might be a nice thing to do but uh, there you go right anything else to go before we go uh james whiting all the best for the new year to everyone thanks Ian, for a great year of entertainment thank you very much for watching james and stick with me my friend we've got uh flying sumo we love you bro i love you as well thank you very much indeed um uh beam me up uh fair plans i've i've never worked on a fair in my life i don't think i'm going to start in 2019 to be honest with you um uh what have we got paul dm mr motram is stuck in bed not well showing love and test a little popcorn juice no not going to test a little popcorn juice you can just replay the uh the patreon unboxing for that one you evil bastards um 
<laughs> Pal702, all the best to you as well. Uh, what we got, uh, what else have we got going on in here? We've got Dave Ape that says Happy New Year. We've got some little emoji things. Happy New Year to you as well. Tony Jenkins, Happy New Year. Uh, Eddie Summerford, Happy New Year. Get your Happy New Year's in now. I'll stick you up on the screen. Um, fictitious character. Uh, is it back? I'm back. Is it ending? Yes. <laughs> Yes, unless anyone wants to get their Happy New Year up on screen, which I will do for the moment. Um, your reviews are like many movies, Dean. Love the info and the beautiful sign. Thank you very much, Viv. I'm just, I, let me, oh, I've lost you. I've lost you, Viv. Where you go? Just, just for you, Viv. Thank you very much indeed. Much appreciated. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, right. What else have we got going on here? Uh, happy fictitious characters. Um, happy New Year to everyone. Uh, give them a reach around. Probably won't, Dave. Thank you very much indeed. Be safe. Absolutely. Go out there and, and uh, um, advocate your face off. Be a good representation of vaping in 2019. Don't don't blow clouds in Tesco's. Um, we've got Happy New Year to everyone from Mr. Spencer. Uh, congrats. Here we go. Timmy says, Happy, uh, congrats, everyone. We made it around the sun again. Bring out the sacrifices. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, there's the last three years. Uh, maybe that's why I have such a good channel because, or such a strong channel because I sacrifice someone every year. Anyway, um, what else have we got going on here? Uh, Hazazita, have a happy, healthy and safe 2019. You too, Hazazita. Um, popcorn is for Netflix, not for vaping. Absolutely, Lily, couldn't agree more. Uh, David Mottram, happy new year then, peeps. You made, uh, you lot have made this year pretty groovy and I love you all. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Viv, happy new year. <laughs> Back in biker fam, I tell you. I tell you, Viv. Tell you. <laughs> Uh, Shane Hammond, Happy New Year, Dean, and keep up the great work, sir. We'll do all the best for 2019, Dean. Hope it's a good one, and for you, sir, and for you. Um, our Athena Relian, 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 Happy New Year, Happy New Year to you as well. Are you doing Jam or Expo? That's going to be something to discuss later on in the year. There is the potential that I might not be doing any of them in this coming year. But we'll discuss that later when we get down into things. Um, Rockabilly, uh, Happy New Year to you all. Happy New Year to you and your family, says John Cook. And to you as well, John. Um, we've got Happy New Year, Dean. Thanks for all the great vids. Thank you for watching those vids, Derry Murphy. Very kind of you. Um, pee in your ear, everyone. <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> Dion's all the best. Not working, visiting fairs. Um, not work, visiting, oh, like conventions and stuff. No, no, none. Um, no plans to currently. Uh, best wishes to yours is Martin Buckley. Much love to you, Mrs. Biker, says Andy Fairchild. Um, happy New Year to you both. And uh, we've got uh, Mr. Muller with Happy New Year. So, I think uh, that'll be good. Another one there. Great job and keep up the great work. Have a very happy new year. Have fun. Be, but be safe. Yes. Here's to the next year. Vote for Biker Mr. Todd as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. And happy new year. And I hope you literally every single last one of you has a fantastic time. I've got to do this one. Look, because, because he's a patron and he's put lots of blowy kisses on there. So happy new year to you as well, Alex. Um, <laughs> look, no, right. Stop now. Um, <laughs> Happy New Year to you as well, Lois. Thank you all so much for everything throughout the year. You guys um, obviously are, are what keeps me going through all of this sort of stuff. I love it. I've always said I'll stop doing it when it, it becomes not fun. And that's why I've made the changes in my what I review and all that sort of stuff so I can keep it interesting and fun for me. And thank you for sticking with me along on that ride. It's been uh, it's been an amazing journey. I love it and I hope it continues. Um and it's, you know, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. There are certain restrictions in place, but we're going to uh, we're going to try and move forward past those. We're going to smash through disability. We're going to smash through lack of money and we're going to just fucking make some stuff happen. Shall we? Let's let's concentrate on the good stuff. Let's concentrate on the good stuff and not the negatives and just fucking live the dream. Do you know what I mean? Just have it. Have it. You're the controller of your destiny. Right. I think that's more than enough now. <laughs> Don't forget the fist bump. You're thinking of you're thinking of Grim. You're thinking of Grim there. He does it. I can't. I've, I've nicked it a couple of times in this show already. I can't keep doing it. <laughs> right. Anyway, we will see you. We'll see you very very soon. 
I'm going to take tomorrow completely off and then on whatever the next day is, Wednesday is it, um, then I'm going to start getting back into doing shit. Otherwise, thank you so much for sticking with me. If you're interested in Patreon, the links are down below in the description. Um, there is PayPal there as well if you wanted to do a one-off support. Uh, but there is uh, there's a bunch of stuff goes on in Patreon and we have a nice little Facebook group as well. But I'll see you soon. Have it larger.